right friends welcome back to recap on banking awareness basically current affairs events related to banking during the past 2 to 3 months and this is basically in view of ibps po exam this is module number 2 I will be too brief in explaining these things because we have already learned these things in the previous modules of current affairs. Right friends, name the bank which launched a facility to avail personal loans at ATMs. For availing personal loans at ATMs, the facility was given by HDFC Bank. Name the bank which launched mobile wallet buddy. The mobile wallet buddy was launched by State Bank of India and it is available in 13 languages. Right friends, look into the next one. For DCIPs, DCIPs are domestic systemically important banks. They are too big to fail. That means country cannot afford failure of these. And because of their size and other logistics, they were declared as DCIPs. Two banks were declared. One is ICICI Bank, other one is the State Bank of India. And these DCIPs will be declared from now onwards by the Reserve Bank of India every year in the month of august please don't forget and globally there are 30 global systemically important banks out of which eight are in united states of america and here extra capital is required for this dcips for state bank of india extra capital is required that is 0.6 percent for ICICI bank 0.2 percent extra capital is required when the extra capital required is 0.2 percent that is kept in bucket 1 0.4 percent bucket 2 0.6 percent bucket 3 0.8 percent bucket 4 like that now ICICI bank is kept in bucket 1 that means 0.2 percent extra capital and SBI is kept in bucket 3 that means which require extra capital of 0.6 percent when the account is categorized as sma2 this classification is to be done for the consortium bank accounts sma0 up to 30 days that means he has taken the loan he is not paying back when he is not paying back once it crosses 90 days it becomes a non-performing asset before loan becomes npa the system devised by Reserve Bank of India is up to 30 days, SMA 0, 31 to 60 days, SMA 1, 61 to 90 days, SMA 2 and at the stage of SMA 2, banks are required to constitute joint lenders forum when the aggregate value of exposure that means when the aggregate value of loan is rupees 100 crore and above. JLF is Joint Lenders Forum. SMA 0 is the category when the principal or interest is overdue for not more than 30 days. Beyond 30 days, I have told you, it will become SMA 1 and beyond 60 days, that means 61 days to 90 days, it will become SMA 2 and at the stage of SMA 2, they have to constitute Joint Lenders Forum. For the accounting year 2014-15, RBI decided to transfer 65,896 crores of rupees to the government government of India and please don't forget accounting year for Reserve Bank of India is from July to June. RBI which is a banker to the government transfers any excess to the government at the end of the year. Right? This is uh, one of the highest, probably the highest. 65,896 crores was transferred by Reserve Bank of India to the central government because Reserve Bank of India is a banker to the government. RBI issued instructions that the marginal cost of funds should be followed for calculating base rate with effect from April 1, 2016. That is from April 1, 2016 onwards, marginal cost of funds method has to be followed by the banks while calculating base rate. In tier 3 to tier 6 centers, as per the recent RBI instructions in tier 3 to tier 6 centers, you can withdraw money through POS terminals up to rupees 2000 a day. To mark the birth anniversary of India's second president, Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan, the Prime Minister launched commemorative coins of rupees 10 as well as rupees 125. Name the digital wallet launched for online shopping by Citibank India and Mastercard in India. 
this is Citibank and Mastercard. They launched City Master Pass for online shopping for both the credit and debit card customers. Set to be the India's first mobile app, Lime, which offers first integrated mobile money platform like a Wallet. It will act as Wallet for payments, for doing shopping, for all the other banking transactions. This app was launched by Axis Bank. When you are talking about Axis Bank, please don't forget Ping Pay as well as Lime. RBI has revised norms for joint lenders forum. Recently, RBI has given revised instructions for constitution of joint lenders forum as per the Reserve Bank of India instructions. Please don't forget this point. Joint lenders forum which is required to be constituted for consortium loan account at SMA2 stage must require members from DCIPs also. Whenever any joint lenders forum is constituted, it should have representatives from two domestic systemically important banks and all the given points above are correct for this question. Please go through them. Pooling of funds from investors, all of you are well aware about collective investment schemes. When pooling of funds from investors involves a corpus amount of rupees 100 crore or more, it is regulated by Securities and Exchange Board of India. Please don't forget all the collective investment schemes who are pooling up 100 crores and above must have registration with Securities and Exchange Board of India. As per the monetary policy, foreign portfolio investors can invest in government securities up to 5% of the total outstanding debt by March 2018. By March 2018, foreign portfolio investors can invest up to 5% of the total outstanding debt and at the same time, please don't forget, they can also invest up to 2% in state development loans or SDLs. Right? In insurance sector, Please don't forget the insurance sector has also got ombudsman and in insurance sector ombudsman office can deal claims up to rupees 20 lakhs whereas in banking sector ombudsman can clear the claims up to rupees 10 lakh and if it involves credit card related then it is maximum 1 lakh please don't forget these figures snp snp is a standard and poor's then fitch moody's this uh, recently lowered India's growth forecast. These three are the credit rating agencies based in United States of America. They give credit rating not only to the governments but also to the companies and these three are based in New York. Name the bank which got 30% stake in the proposed payment bank to be launched by Reliance Industries. Reliance Industries has got license for payment banks and 30% of the share in Reliance Industries is owned by State Bank of India. Name the regulator which cancelled the registration of Sahara India Financial Corporation. Sahara India Financial Corporation, it is non-banking financial company. The regulator is Reserve Bank of India. So, Reserve Bank of India is empowered to issue or cancel the license. So, the license for Sahara India Financial Corporation was cancelled by Reserve Bank of India and at the same time, please don't forget, Sahara Mutual Fund registration was cancelled by SEBI because the mutual fund regulator is SEBI, right? IMGC is the first to introduce a financial product to mitigate the risk taken by the banks and housing finance companies. We have already discussed in the previous lecture, previous recap that IMGC is India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation. India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation that takes a part of the risk when banks are giving loans. Right, this is India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation. We have just now discussed ICICI Bank has given first loan that is mortgage backed loan. Smile, smile is uh, should be make in India loan for enterprises. It started with a corpus of rupees 10,000 crores, basically to arrange loans to the small enterprises, and here. 
the corpus is 10000 crores of rupees and it is maintained by sidb and the organizations maintained by sidb please don't forget one is mudra bank second one is the smile third one is iaf fourth one is cgt mse that is credit guarantee fund trust for micro and small enterprises these are four are maintained by sidb and please don't forget sidb is headquartered in lucknow rpi asked banks to provide interest subsidy of 2% now farmers are getting crop loans at 7% and government will give 2% of the amount that is known as interest subvention to the banks for this year government decided about interest subvention of 2% to be given to banks and please don't forget farmers up to a value of rupees uh, 3 lakhs will get crop loans from banks at a interest rate of uh, 7% and 2% interest subsidy is reimbursed by central government to banks that is known as interest subvention and answer for this question is 2% name the mission to refurbish the functioning of public sector banks to refurbish the functioning of public sector banks to improve the functioning of public sector banks seven point program indra dhanush was launched and the name indra dhanush don't forget that is also there for vaccination program name the bank which unveiled the first multi currency forex contactless card in india this contactless card basically works on the principle of near field communication or nfc you have to just tap and go you need not swipe it you have to just tap and go and this multi currency forex contactless card was unveiled by axis bank right ravi venkateshan an independent director at infosys appointed non executive chairman of bank of baroda please don't forget recently five non executive chairmen and for five banks managing director and ceos were appointed by government of india and please go through the names and not only the names before joining these positions where were they that is also very important because some of the persons from private sector were brought into the public sector now so this aspect is very important before joining these posts where were they that is also important this ravi venkateshan who taken over as non executive chairman of bank of baroda was a previously independent director at infosys for other appointments also please look from that perspective employee provident fund organization employees provident fund organization decided to invest in equity market it has got lakhs of crores of funds it is the fund from employees for their future needs previously they were not allowed to invest in stock markets because of risk and now they allowed for investments in stock market and recently 5000 crores were invested in the exchange traded funds of nifty and sensex through sbi mutual fund and please don't forget employees provident fund organization for the first time invested in the stock market name the chairman of bandhan bank chairman of bandhan bank is ashok kumar lahari whereas md and ceo is chandrashekhar ghosh and bandhan bank headquarters kolkata and it started with 501 branches please don't forget with this let us conclude this recap 2 and please do join for recap 3 have a nice day thank you